Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat and welcome back to the first of many storyline videos this season. This season is really going to ramp up with the correlation with the Batman comics, understanding a lot about IO and so much more. But in today's storyline video, we're starting off with the season 7 storyline overview discussion and just getting a everyone's thoughts and point of views of what's going on in the world of Fortnite. Just before we get into this, I'd just like to say if you head over to Creative Inside of Fortnite right now, we officially have our map featured on the Discovery tab. This is how you do it. You head over to Creative and you can see inside of the Discovery section on the Vehicle section, right at the very bottom, you'll see a map called Canyon Racetrack. Press on that. It's made by me and my community, so check it out. I'm sure you guys will love it. Give it a little go and let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much anyone considering to do that. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. Anyway, jumping straight into the Fortnite world and starting off with the storyline. First off, we received the trailer. I'll just quickly go over it because it is quite important and a really good overview. So you can see it on screen right now, the Fortnite trailer, and most of it really wasn't that important on it. It was very self-explanatory what was going on. Aliens were discovered in the world of Fortnite, and a lot of different stuff was kind of going ahead with just a bunch of eye related stuff. But the two main scenes I want to point out are two scenes in this entire trailer. There are two point of views where Superman is sat inside of an office, and also another point of view with the overview of the office. Now, we'll start with with the overview of the office and this here is kind of interesting you can see in the background we've got daily planet and this looks like it is possibly on the fortnite world or on the outer skirts in an io office we can't confirm either because there is no confirmation that this is io in this screenshot i assume personally this is on the fortnite world but then it does make it a little bit more complicated when in the background you can see again on the on the superman one someone monitoring the spire and even superman having batman in his locker now i do think that's more of an easter egg for the trailer and this is kind of what's going on inside the loop and not outside but i may be wrong and this could be possibly what is going on outside the loop the other point to note from the trailer as well which, which is kind of important is towards the end when the alien ship does pick up the spire does it take the zero point with it or does the zero point go back into the ground there is no real way of telling from the trailer. I've watched it in slow motion several times and you can't really tell. You can tell one thing though, the way the beam comes down. So the lightning is definitely coming down from the ship rather than coming up from the center. We know that IO do have power of the dark element we talked about in previous storyline videos. So maybe I was thinking possibly that could have come from there, but it hasn't. It's definitely come from the alien ship. You can see the way it comes down from the top and comes down. So the big giant has sent it down which is kind of cool. So moving back into the Battle Royale world, I don't know who has the zero point. But first off, if the zero point was destroyed, it's not because if it was, the loop would have destabilized, we would have gone into the in-between and the whole thing would have gone corrupt. Very similar to what happened during the end event or even during the butterfly event. That sort of thing is what would have happened. So it didn't, we didn't go into the in-between. So the loop or the zero point is still standing somewhere. The question is where? That is the big question. Now, is it going to be inside the lake where it currently is in the center of the map? Probably not. If it was inside of here, we would have seen IO probably deploy a few like vehicles around here to kind of watch it, and keep an eye on this section. But I can't like not confirm that it's not underneath here. We don't 100% know. But I personally believe it's inside of the mothership, inside of the main hole in the center. You guys have seen on my second channel, I've been inside the mothership. If you want to see what's inside of it, I will link it at the end of this video. I have actually been inside that hole there. You can't get into it on replay. This is as high as you can fly into in the sky, but I have actually been inside of it. So if anyone wants to see what's on the inside, feel free to check out that video. That is where the zero point is stored, in my opinion. That's where I think, that's why it's still above the map. Why would it leave? Because it wants something else. It doesn't just want the zero point. And that's where we're going to explore a little bit further. So the storyline this season starts off with obviously IO deploying several bases all over the map. We can see that. We know that IO has deployed seven in total, I believe, all over the map, which is kind of a very iconic number in Fortnite. A lot of things relate to the number seven, not just the seven themselves, but every single season there are always seven locations deployed. You could go back and look back into the cube ruins. There were seven of them printed on the map. You could go back and look into the different points the cube stopped at, seven. There was even seven uh, different, there's seven everything. Seven everything that gets added in, it's always seven. It's just weird. But moving away from that little side easter for you guys, this is really cool. So these IO bases are situated all around the map with these giant satellites. And these giant satellites are here for a reason. They're scanning something. Inside of here, you can see we've actually got a total of eight, actually. And I think the other eighth one is inside of a... I believe it's in where the farms are. So there's one over there as well inside the big the big building there. I think there's, I think there's seven of these. I may be wrong, there might be eight on the map. Someone will have to confirm me. I'm pretty sure there are seven of them, but I can't 
100% guarantee. There might be actually eight, I'm not too sure. But anyway, that doesn't really matter too much. Let's move on to the next one. You can see, obviously, these satellites are waiting to be powered up. They're not fully powered yet. They're almost there, but they're kind of waiting still a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Like they're not just there yet. So we're waiting on them, and we will get there, guys. We will eventually get the power on these, but... I don't know when, that is the question. When will we get the power on these? It's hard to say. So, it looks like the bar's quite full though, doesn't it? If you think about it, that bar there definitely looks pretty full. And then on this one over here, you can also see something else being calculated. But that's not too important. Basically, what I'm trying to say is these are being used for something. Most likely, to inspect the alien ship. And keep an eye out for anything else coming in from hostile regions. Maybe the Seven. We even saw at the end of the trailer. I'll play it now quickly that he is still alive, the Foundation. He falls into the water, there's a reason this has happened. He's gonna be playing a big part in this event. So, let's rotate into Sloane's base though. This is when we start to learn about possibly what could be happening in the next weeks or so. Inside of her base, she has lots of different like computers deployed, analyzing the area, keeping track of all the mechanics going on, making sure no one's really breaking in on this upper section. This also is a hole. Well, why is it a hole? It's most likely going to be opening up. Kind of connects nicely into the bottom. I suspect the IO team may actually end up with their own vehicle at some point, And this is maybe where it'll be. Maybe a small one, like a hover bike or something, to combat the aliens. But who knows exactly. Or this could be for the event. You can see on the inside, we have a lot of stuff being analysed. They're analysing the aliens' science. They're analysing a lot of stuff down here. They are looking into so much stuff. And they want to solve what's going on. Similar to what Stark was doing in Season 4. But if we actually go into Sloane's office, this is when we start to make things a little bit more interesting. Inside of here, we have a whiteboard. We have nothing really we can tell much about on, but when we start to look into the distance, we start to see different things. We can see Sloane here being promoted by someone higher up in IO, which is really cool. We can then see Sloane teaching some of the newcomers in IO. Mini Sloane now teaching Midas as a young, I guess, adult there and a bunch of other characters which we've not seen in the game yet. Maybe that could be even Marigold down there as well. Not, can't 100% confirm it, but it's pretty cool. Next, we see some sort of reactor style structure which we've never seen before. I don't know where this is from, but it definitely looks interesting and could hold a lot about the storyline, which we just don't know about yet, but who knows exactly what that could do. Moving over to the next one, we've got another reactor. And then on this far side, this is probably the most interesting one. Where is that? This is actually above Steamy Stacks. Big shout out to my friend Dorado who reminded me about this. This is really cool because this is actually above Steamy Stacks and this is gonna be interesting. So you can see it's the same area as Steamate, the bit where it curves in at the top there, just facing the wrong direction. You can see, I believe this is Steamy Stacks. That's what I'm getting the vibe from it. I hope you guys are getting that too as well. I'm almost certain it is. And it looks like some sort of ship is above there but definitely not the alien ship. It looks too small for it. So I wonder if they're going to bring out their own ship to combat this or they're analyzing that area. Or is that where the alien ship is still planning on going? That's why it's still in the sky. It, it does ring big bells in my head. Why is the alien ship still in the sky? Otherwise, he would have just left by now. So definitely some really interesting stuff there to talk about and discuss in the community. But yes, a lot of stuff going on. Even in this office here, you can see Rick and Morty have been deployed to defend the island but they aren't doing a good job i don't think at it so pretty cool stuff inside of here 3d prints are possibly there printing some of the new weapons that we could get and just some really cool stuff so let's move on up let's move harry kane and my grab hammer <laughs> pretty cool if you copy harry kane don't forget to support me in the amp shop with code postbox part hashtag epic games partner okay let's move in and go over inside of the giant house here. So there's some more stuff inside of here, storyline related as well. So inside of here, we start to see some interesting stuff. Whereabouts is it? Let me find the room. It's such a maze, this house. I hardly come in here. There we are, we're in here now in the back section. And you can see on here, this is the other style for the skin here. This is the other style which you can unlock, I've been told. So nothing too major, but definitely this is what's interesting. The question mark on the sign. Why is that there? Are they going to use this guy, disguise him up, go inside the alien ships? That's what it's for. So I don't, I can't remember the guy's name off by heart on the skin, but it's the other style for it, the one that zips themselves up. And uh, yeah, they may disguise themselves and go on the mothership. We may even see like a trailer relating to it, which would be pretty cool. Meowzles is definitely involved with something here as well, which is interesting. IO are definitely planning some stuff. Here you can see Tadafid, they're analyzing the ship. And even they've got that big kind of like satellite beam, which may be even some sort of laser beam, which is pointing at it. And I'm guessing that's hidden inside of something. You can get some more insights into this. Look, 
they're pointing at all the different kind of main holes underneath the base of it. There's a total of five different holes around the outside and one in the center, which probably where the zero point is held. And they're analyzing this and they're trying to get into it and kind of get a fully understanding of how this shoot's gonna work and possibly how they can get the zero point back under their control. Maybe that's what that beam style system's gonna do. Pretty cool stuff, right? And then if we go in over to the beam section, we can see this is probably what it is inside of here. They've disguised it. And this is probably what they're gonna use to shoot up and kind of maybe recontrol the I guess zero point or try and get it back or try and destabilize the ship so it crashes down and maybe it's going to crash over Steamy. I personally do believe that Steamy is a big target this season and he's definitely going to hold a lot of stuff for the storyline. In the original chapter one trailer we saw that Steamy was very purple and it had been exploded. I believe this season could possibly see that and we may even see this lake slowly start to leak in the Kevin energy because the aliens want to harvest more of Kevin's energy which is currently on the island being contained by the Aya who have been containing it from the outer world. But obviously if the aliens get their hand on some of this energy they're going to be able to do even more powerful stuff or maybe simply they've run out of fuel. They're stuck up there, they're out of fuel, and they need fuel. And where is their fuel? Right here, Kevin's energy. It's obviously the dark matter, very powerful stuff. I do generally think this all really relates in really nicely. This is where the storyline is starting. Now this is only a discussion and theory video, and I'd love to know your opinions down below for the season seven storyline. Let me know what you guys think. I've just given you a good overview so far. I will be making an updated video on this in the next week or so, so you can get a full overview of everything which has happened in chapter two and where we're going with this, and even some of the Batman comic related stuff related to the storyline as well, as I do read some of the up and coming comics. So really cool stuff. I cannot wait to see where we're gonna go with this. And the storyline this season is gonna be an absolute banger and lots of updates coming as well with weapons, map changes, and so much more throughout the season. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to check out my creative map in the discovery tab if you get some free time. Once again, this is Postbox Pat, signing out.